The question was, how do the teachers in my country give lessons to the students? Yes? Unfortunately, um, the way they do everywhere in the world, for the most part. They get up in front of a class like me now, and they spew a bunch of words out. You know? I mean, there are there's textbooks, there's computers. Um, there's more and more movement towards um, having kids work and learn in small groups together, where they take, you know, six or you know, four to six children, put them in a group, and let them collaborate, work together to learn about something. So that there's partly the dialogue part we talked about earlier going on in their learning. But I mean, my daughter, I mean, I've asked children all over the United States and Canada and Mexico. And I've talked to the, you know, kids from other parts of the world as well, and certainly throughout China and my limited travels. And everywhere, children still feel that nobody cares really about the learning at the level that we're talking about. They, it's still not, you know, it's that level. Most kids still feel that teachers are much more interested in whether or not they got this than in how they're learning. Huh? Yeah. Well, there were the teachers continue to be more interested in the uh, proficiency with the subject matter than with the quality of participation in the learning. Yeah, that's a universal problem across the planet. But I think it's changing. And the reason it's changing is because um, business realizes. If you were to talk to uh, the presidents, if, you had, if every one of you were like the presidents of a different big company on the planet 20 years ago, and I said, what's most important to you all about your employees? They would say that they, you know, they know their job, they know this, they have good skills, and so forth. It would have all been about knowledge. But if you could put the heads of the major corporations on this planet in the room right now and ask them, what's most important to you about your employees? They would say that they can learn. Because I don't know what's going to need, what we're going to need from them tomorrow. The world is changing so fast that the only sustainable advantage, understand that sustainable advantage, is learning. The only the only sustainable advantage. In fact, um, there's a famous uh, American business management consultant named uh, Dennis. Edward Denny. He's famous because he was the uh, American management, business management consultant who went to Japan and helped Japan radically transform its businesses. He helped make Toyota and, and uh, Nissan and other, and Sony and what had become big corporations. Okay. And what he told them and what they got was that the only, the only competitive advantage of a business is how well it learns. It's the only competitive advantage. The people change, the technology changes, the customers change, everything changes. So what is the one thing that doesn't change that will always learn? In fact, I haven't lost your question. I'll, I'll share with you something that's so important to me that I put it on the front cover of my website and on the booklets that I give out. It's my favorite quotation of all time. And it's by a student named Cesare de Sesto. Everybody heard of Leonardo da Vinci? Anybody not heard of him? Leonardo da Vinci? Nobody's heard of him. Da Vinci. Uh, the Mona Lisa painting? Yeah. yeah. He was considered, he's be, he is considered by most people in the West that I know as the greatest genius of all human history. The greatest genius of all human history. 
He painted the greatest painting. He thought about things from how to shoot cannons to how to uh, make flying airplanes and helicopters 500 years ago. Right? He was a genius, off-scale genius. Now, one of his students wrote something about him. One of his students wrote something about him. And what he said was this. The best thing he did for us this is a student talking about Da Vinci, had nothing to do with artistic matters. It was about learning, which he used to say, Da Vinci used to say, is the only thing that the mind never exhausts, never fears, and never regrets. Learning is the only thing that will never fail us. That's my favorite quote. So you have a question? Are you interested in creating some special subject, some concrete subject, to talk to them or mathematics or physics or anything? Do you interested in studying this? Am I interested personally? Yes. Yes. I, I, uh, I'm interested in physics. Tell us which. Yet, you pick up any book, any one book, its tone is, 